guys, it's Len from the Halfway Homestead. Um, we are adding another video to our Comfrey series. So you may remember our last video was titled something along the lines of, uh, this Comfrey won't quit. And it's because we've been overwintering Comfrey in these pots in our basement um, under some grow lights. And after, I mean, just a, a world of, of different issues we had. I mean, it worked really well down there. And then we brought them outside and we just had a bunch of stuff that we kind of forgot about them. Uh, we're getting ready to transplant them out to the garden now, but we don't want this plant. We want all of the roots that are inside there to cut up and make a bunch of other plants out of it. So we're going to kind of show you that today. Um, and so we're going to kind of let the camera run and we're going to dig in here and see what we can take and get out here for roots. But you can see, I mean, this plant's not huge on top. It's been cut at least once. We took about this much off of it and fed it to the ducks. Um, and so it started to grow back. But at this point, we're going to get right into it. You can see the pot's not all the way filled. I mean, it's about three inches from the top. But once you get in here, and we've already done the other one, so we kind of know what to expect. This whole thing is a big giant root ball from that little plant. So we're just going to start breaking it down, getting all the little roots out of the way so that we can get to the big main root ball that's in here. Because that is what we're gonna use to make new plants. And I don't know how well you can see on the camera, we're starting to see some of that pop up here. So, <clears throat> this, uh, this is Bocking 14 Russian Comfrey. It's very, very prolific from cuttings, um, but it will not spread via seed. So, it makes it really a, a great comp comfrey for putting it where you want and that's where it stays and when you want more you can dig up a plant cut it up into into pieces its root structure and depending on the thickness you can get down to about an inch long piece um, depending on how thick the actual rooting is um, but in this case we're definitely going to get some longer pieces because the roots aren't going to be that thick because they were stuck inside of a, bot, uh, a pot the entire time so with that, we're going to work on this real quick, and I'll show you what I got once we get to, uh, get most of it uncovered. All right, so one of the things I did is I cut off the remaining top. We're going to feed that to the ducks. Um, they'll love that. And we're down to basically the, the main root ball here. You can see there's a lot of just little tiny roots. Those ain't going to do you much good in terms of getting more, more plants, but some point you kind of just got to break it open to get to the good stuff there's a big massive root ball here you can see that clean break I just did once you kind of do that you start to get these pieces so that's easily a plant possibly two depending on how lucky you can get with the roots that guy's a plant for sure. That guy's likely a plant. That guy's likely a plant. That guy, probably cut it in half. Probably get two plants out of that. You get to a point where you almost have to just break it because it's so packed in there. There's one. There's one or two probably. There's one. I mean, literally the smallest piece can end up being. I mean, that guy's inch and a half, two inches. Definitely going to be a, be another comfrey plant, and it won't take long either. That guy's probably two. Cut that up. Probably cut that guy up. Eh, maybe not. So I don't know how well you can see in there or not, but there's this massive structure right there that you really, you just got to break them apart. Or you could use that as, as a crown and just dump that whole crown in the ground. And we will go, we are going to leave part of this together for that, but I want all these big pieces off here because I need a lot more comfrey. I have had really bad luck and it shouldn't call it luck because it's not luck. We've made a lot of mistakes and forgotten to deal with our comfrey in different times and as a result like that guy right there 
I wouldn't be sh shocked if that ends up being a plant. We're going to plant it. But this stuff is so prolific. Um, so yeah, we've had a lot. And we just end up making the mis mistakes. Because we keep trying to do it in pots. Because we weren't sure where we wanted it on the property. We finally decided what we're doing with it. And where it's going to go. And so we're going full tilt. Get it all on the ground. Right now we're just going to put it all in, a big, in, in one big area. And then as we get the rest of our fruit trees planted out this year or in the fall we're going to surround them with comfrey and some other stuff but comfrey as well all right so in the end i'm basically got this one big mass right here that you can't even break up it's all just a big hunk of root so i could cut that up to get some smaller ones but i'm just going to leave it this was the crown that used to go in the ground. That was the greens that came off of it. I'm just going to leave that, and we're going to plant that as well. So if you look from that one little tiny plant right there, we've got a big crown. So that's one. That's at least two. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26. So 26 plants, the potential plants, I bet we get every bit of 20 plus out of that. Um, out of one comfrey plant that's been sitting in a pot since last fall. So we did two of them. So I don't know how well you, you see that in there, but that whole bottom of that bucket, bottom two inches of buckets, done with root cuttings right now. So we're gonna go out and plant those. We'll show you a quick little, little video of how easy that is as well. And then we'll finish up for today. We'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. Um, so what we've done is we've taken all of our bits and we cut up a bunch of roots like so. And some of the bigger pieces, we cut them down to like one inch pieces and then we cut them in half. So we're exposing that center. I know my hands are muddy, but whatever. And uh, Give them more places for roots to shoot off of. We've already planted most of this. This is just a spot we had left over in the garden that we weren't going to do anything else with um, this year. And in fact, next year either, because this whole garden is being redone next year. But we just want to get this comfrey in the ground so that we can get as many root systems going as possible. And next year, we're going to literally plant this all over the property. So by this time next year, we should have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of roots that we can take and cut. Um, so, what we've done is I've already done most of the trench. Um, when you do this, lay the root horizontal into your dirt because you never know which is going to be the end of the side that wants to root. Um, and so lay it horizontal. You have the best chance of something coming up and something going down and being all right. So for the remainder of this trench, I'm just going to throw in what I got left. I'm not putting any kind of spacing in between these. I'm literally lining them up end to end to end because I have so many and I don't really care they're going to grow and whatever doesn't grow is just fine because, uh, as long as I get 10 12 plants out of this and I will probably end up with a whole lot more than that because I think so far I've put in about 30 from here to there um, then we're gonna be in great shape um, so yeah this is what we got basically that set setup looks a lot like let's see where did I finish I finished right there taking that root putting it horizontal covering it up what I'm planting into is just some extra leaf compost we had from doing our garden is no nothing special you can literally put this stuff right into dirt it's fine um you don't need anything fancy but this is what we had left and we're like you know what might as well just go ahead and use it so <clears throat> i'm planting these things end to end to end and we're going to mulch right over top of them anyways so it really doesn't matter and again you see that guy there laid it down flat cover it up Always do your biggest pieces first. Obviously, you'll have the best chance of success. 
But this stuff grows so quickly that I would not be shocked that if within probably two to three weeks, we've got some significant leaves showing already off of most of this. I think the last ones took closer to five to six weeks. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. My wife always tells me I have no concept for time, so I'm gonna go with what she said. So even planting them that dense, I still have five or six left here at the very end. Good size ones too, so we're gonna shove them in. That way there, whatever grows, grows. We have the best chance to get as many as possible this year. All right, so that is basically it. We're gonna go through and just dump a little bit of mulch, dump a little bit of mulch on top of this, cover it up, water it in heavily, and forget it. And uh, we'll let you know, we'll time stamp it and we'll let you know about how long it took before we started seeing stuff grow up out of here. Um, just so you know, this was our garden area last year. Um, so there has been stuff planted in here. You can see, if you can, I don't know if you can see in the mulch there or not, there's a lot of white, fungus looking stuff going on um, that's good so we kind of disturbed that but it's no big deal I'm literally just gonna do this and that's gonna be that so all right guys well we're gonna add this to the playlist um, as we have we've got everything comfrey put into a playlist already I think that's actually the name everything comfrey um, so if you have any questions leave them down below if you look in the notes below, we've got a couple of links that you might be interested in. We've got um, different ways that you can help support us. We've got our link to our Patreon, a link to our Amazon affiliate. Um, you can shop all of your Amazon through that link, and we get a few pennies for whatever you spend. It costs you nothing. Um, it's a huge, huge help to us. We greatly appreciate if you would use that. Obviously, subscribe to the channel and share us with your friends. Um, this is the, the way that we're trying to eventually make our living. Uh, well, so, is it the this, faster I get home, the more we can put out more content, we can get more stuff to you guys and, and help you through your situation. So as always, we'll see you next time.